Hello, so today I'm going to be showing you how to use the high command module. So we're going to start off with our player place down here. We go to our system sub, other, and then you want to go place down the high command commander module. Now, click it, right click, connect, sync to, and then sync it to your commanding squadron. This can be more than one player, it's, in this case just one. So for every squad you want a subordinate, <coughs> subordinate squad, so go ahead and place on a subordinate module, high command subordinate, right click it, sync to high commander. So in this case we're going to do two. So I'm going to place down another squadron, place down a fire team. So. One thing to note: don't ever select it by the uh, select a gr um, group by the group icon. Always select it by mousing over. Otherwise, you're just going to get group two instead of sync two. So I'm going to go and place down a. Actually, I'm going to place down a drone as my second uh, subordinate. So, in this case, just mouse over again, right click, sync to, subordinate. Make sure that they're both synced to the high commander module, and go and hit play. Now, to open it up, hit control spacebar, and you'll see the little uh, NATO symbols above them. So now, uh, I can command our little falcon guy here. can actually so you have to click on them and I'm gonna set it's very difficult sometimes so anyways we can set a waypoint set point set waypoint so now it's gonna start up gonna take off now we can also right click this waypoint and we can set type you know seek and destroy you know Hard. So I'm just gonna do guard for right now. I can also set many other things like formation, speed, timeout, wait until radio, and be radio commands, um, combat mode, stuff like that. So click on the team leader here, and oh, boom, we're gonna set them to the same point. Set. We're gonna set them to safe, and we'll do a formation, a staggered column, and they're just gonna seek and destroy. So now we got our squad moving over to the same direction, and we're all good. So this is basically how to use the high command module. Um, really, really cool stuff especially when you're playing with other people um, you can set more than one player uh, to the high command commander module so you and your friends can you know command AI the cool thing is you're not actually you know commanding the AI through your own unit commanding it through that team leader team leader is going to give the instructions not you so you're truly commander in this situation SAT guy doesn't seem to know what he's been doing, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. Hope you enjoyed.